Welcome to the Narrowboat that James built. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, it's a little later than planned, but here we go. We're off. Cheers, mate. Love you, man. Safe journey. Well, that's it, we're off. 
just gone past North Kilworth Marina and we've got some distance now to travel down to Crick. But our first task is to turn right at the uh, Welford Junction. a bit better. It feels really, really weird being in here with the boat moving. I can't tell you how strange this feels. Wow. <laughs> I, guess I don't think I'll ever go for this. To see this boat with landscape moving around it is just absolutely bizarre. But the boat suits it. It is, yeah, we're kind of carving our way through the reeds. Bridge 36, and Will thinks we're coming to the end of page one. Or our first page, shall we say? Yeah? Okay. So, what's next? We're going to be crossing under the A14 soon. Okay. Oh, slopes! Here we go. The breakfast is served. Right, this is bridge 20 that we're approaching, so we're coming up to Yelvertoft. It is really, really windy. The boat's moving around quite a bit. But it's not raining. That's the main thing. It's been lovely so far. I think it's around midday. We've had some... Uh, tomato soup and toast so we're all kind of fed we can't really stop so um and big phoned me earlier and said that we really need to get to the top of what flight kind of by two o'clock otherwise we might not be allowed through it today so we just want to get as far as we can we've also got the creek tunnel to go through in a minute but progress is good 
engine's running nicely. And I'm starting to uh, learn how to use my foot to control the throttle. The gear lever's easy, so I can just flick it out of my ankle into neutral. But, uh, there we go. A bit of foot control. extension's a little bit long. Paul made it long so I cut it back to where I needed to get to. But I do notice when Will's standing there, I'm kind of pushing him down the stairs. The other thing I've noticed already is that I'm going to need to make an extension so that I can place it in there to cover up those stairs. So when we're all on the deck, there we go, when we're all on the deck, um, no one's going to fall down those couple of steps. Will's nearly done it twice. approaching Crick, yeah, this is Crick Marina mate. Right, we've done two pages now. Get in there, right. What are we doing next bit then? Crick Marina, oh, then tunnel. Tunnel. Right. Should we do anything before the tunnel? No. Just go through it? Let's do something the other side of the tunnel. All right then, okay. Let's get through it. Let's get through it mate. Right, I need my tunnel lights on. I'm going to take my hat off now, otherwise I won't feel the benefit when I get inside the tunnel.
and I didn't scrape the side of the boat over the tunnel. Very well done. Very well done. Oh, that's nice. Great tunnel. 1,397 metres. Coming up to this road bridge here now. Yeah. Come out the tunnel. And then it's down to M1 and the locks. Watford locks, all right, okay, so if we can get to the top of them and see if a lock keeper's there and we'll let us go through today. Yeah? Yeah. That's the plan. Good plan. There'll be many of you who watch this and know this, but some that probably won't. And the way you line yourself up to go through these type of bridges is you see what side the towpath is on, and then you line up the grab rails on the side of the boat directly underneath the bridge number. So, because this is on the left, I want my left rail underneath that bridge number. And then it means I pass with enough room on both sides. I think Nigel told me that. Damn good tip. This is hopefully just a passing shower. There's a bit of blue sky around, but even the sheep are fed up with this rain. I think we're just caught in the middle of something here. We're gonna carry on. says that uh, we're going to go down first. There's a boat in front of us, but they've got to do something with our rail stand. So we're going to go down first, which is great news. It means we can get down the flight today. And look at it. What a beautiful place, man. This is amazing. It looks like we're about to drive off a sheer cliff, but this is just beautiful. You can hear the M1 in the background, which is oddly quite nice. Wow, what a spot. If we weren't in such a rush, I'd suggest we spent some time here, but we're in a rush. We're going to carry on. Well, I managed to moor up and only kind of bang a little bit of the boat. So that was kind of moderately successful. Uh, we're next in line for the lock. And I've just brought up a panel just to have a look at how the lagging is doing. Bear in mind, the engine's been running for, I think, about four hours, five hours. And uh, that lagging's holding up nicely. So that's really good. Happy about that. Right, here's the boat coming up that we've got to wait for, and then we're off. Thanks, 
speed it down the flight um, and Will wanted to stop at Watford Gap Services but because for the last nine months or whatever it's been I've been stopping at Watford Gap I thought no we're not going to do that we're going to carry on going so we've just had a bacon sandwich on the run the engine has not stopped since departure so we're just going to go as far as we can basically until the light fades but um yeah, we're going all right. I think we're going to see if we can hit Norton Junction, aren't we? Which is where the Leicester arm meets up with the uh, London Birmingham main arm. And I think this bridge ahead is bridge number four. So we're not too far away now. Right, that was bridge two we've just gone under. So we have not got long to go. Here we are, turning on to the Grand Union. Brentford. Brentford, 89 and a quarter miles. Wow. Here we are, this is the main arm. Fantastic. Norton Junction. Fantastic. We made it to Norton Junction. This was our target. There's blue sky left, so we're going to carry on. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely we are. Well, this is us in lock 11. So we're making pretty good time. There's still some light left. There's two more locks to go. So the one ahead of us is lock 12, and then lock 13 is the one by uh, Wilton Marina. And I think if we can get there, we'll probably stop for the night. And that's a decent day's cruising. We're just at lock 12, waiting for someone to come up. Oh, the gates have just opened. Well, this is good timing. We've just come out of lock 12 and going into lock 13, there's two boats coming out. So I think if I just like loiter, over here, just quickly flick it into neutral with my foot. Well, that's what we've just done. The Buckby Lock Flight. Seven locks, 19.2 meters. Wow, felt it all. Well, where about are we? We're just here. Yep. Yeah next to the M1. So if we can carry on a mile yeah. to this point. Oh, we get away from the M1. Exactly. And then we're in the woodlands. Nice. So I nice. think somewhere around Bridge 21. Alrighty ho then. Alrighty ho. Well, there's a bit of light left. Yeah, let's use it. Let's use it. it's pretty uh, dark now but we've just moored up we're on the Arnco so I've got it on a chain and we are in Weedenbeck so we've done pretty well today now we can have a cup of tea it was well it's dark outside now we got back in just the nick of time um, obviously when we came up here it was a little bit light and you come under the canopies and it's completely dark so um, 
Yeah, what a full day though, a really full day. The engine been running for about 11 hours, I think, uh, without stopping. So we've done really well. Uh, I mean, credit to Will, he did, I think, 14 locks. Um, I would say on his own, because there was, there was um, lock keepers at Watford. And we met up with a really nice couple, um, Tracy and Lindsay. Um, and uh, Lindsay watches watches the uh, the channel as well, so that was really nice. Kind of going down, we did uh, we did the uh, the Buckby uh, um, locks with them. So I think there were seven locks we did with them. Um, but yeah, it was really good good to meet you, Lindsay. You kind of helped me uh, show me a few things. Um, he had a Springer for about twelve years or whatever. So yeah, it's really kind of good to hear your stories and good to spend the afternoon with you and thanks for helping us get so far it's made a massive difference because tomorrow now i think we've got well depending on the weather but the weather looks like it's improving slightly over the next couple of days so we'll see but we're starving i'll go get some food together um the right. weather forecast has improved for tomorrow so we're hoping to get some mileage done tomorrow as well in which case we can make up for the fact that we didn't do any mileage yesterday that's the plan anyway Come here. Right, I've made us some dinner. Will has certainly earned himself a dinner tonight. He did all those locks. Look how at many did, this. How many locks did we do? 14. 14 locks. Look at that. Oh. Right, steak and mash. On the, oh, on the narrow boat. Right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye bye.